everybody, it's me and I'm here to talk about the upcoming Black Sabbath album 13, uh, which I have not heard yet. It is 3 in the morning and today is the day where they debut a song online. It's called God is Dead. I haven't heard it yet. Uh, anybody that's watching this as it just uploaded knows I'm telling the truth. Uh, I haven't heard nothing. I've heard a little clip of, uh, it sounded like Hole in the Sky. It's pretty cool. All I can say is that those that know me know I'm totally against the reunion without Bill Ward. And uh, I really just want to say my prediction of the new Black Sabbath album, I have a feeling it's going to be really good because I owe me rules, man. Come on. You know, it's just going to be a great fucking album. But uh, I'm not going to support it. I'm not going to buy it. Now, I had a lot of people out there, well, actually, I've had three people out there ask me, hey, are you going to review 13? Well, yes, I am. I am going to review it, but you're going to have to give me at least a year because sometimes when I hear a brand new album, you know, my opinion of it can differ a year later. But, you know, after living with an album for a year, pretty much my opinion when that year is over is pretty much the opinion I have for the rest of my life, which is every, every review you've seen so far is I know I'm gonna go to the grave thinking the same thing. So, uh, with that said, I think it's gonna be a great album, but I'm not gonna support it because I refuse to give money to those fucking motherfuckers. And I'm not talking about Black Sabbath here. They, they fucked your mom, but I'm talking about the people behind the scenes, the people that fucked over Bill Ward. They're motherfuckers, they're crack motherfuckers. That's right, they, they fuck crack whores. And they give crack, and the, and, and the crack whores like give birth to crack babies. And they bring these little innocent babies into the world addicted to crack. That's what I'm talking about. Those motherfuckers, actually, it's actually a fact. The people that manage Black Sabbath are uh, fuck crack whores and bring crack babies into the world and disappear. And uh, they're ruining this earth and they should be, uh, they should be castrated, all of them and fuck them. So all I can say is that I'm not gonna blame anything on my gods, Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, and Ozzy Osbourne because I know deep down inside, I can just I just know all three of them want Bill in the band. So I'm not really blaming them. I really don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but I don't know, in a way I kinda think that maybe they sign contracts and their hands are tied behind their back and they can't do shit about it. They have to go through the reunion or else they're probably gonna get sued by these crack motherfuckers. So, uh, I'm not gonna give no money and I'm not gonna go see it live unless they have like some killer opening bands that I shit, like a, a Merciful Fate reunion with Kim Ruzz, the original five from the 80s, then fuck, I'll have to go see it. But uh, other than that, I'm not gonna support it. I'm not gonna pay uh, to, um, to see them and I'm not gonna pay for the CD. But I will hear the CD. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I know a lot of, like a lot, a lot of friends of mine are gonna, uh, or a few friends of mine, somebody, somebody in my circle is gonna buy the Black Sabbath CD. And that's how I'm gonna hear it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a cassette to their house and, and, and burn it on a cassette and play it on my tape deck because I don't illegally download. So, actually, just to prove my point, how I am a supporter of music, look at all those CDs and look at all the vinyl, that's not all of mine, but you know, it's a lot of them. All these CDs and stuff is, shows you that I go out there and I buy. I still support music. And those out there that illegally download music and um, you don't, actually uh, go out and buy the CD, fuck you. Except Thrash or Die. My band, feel free. Download it, but there's only under, only under one condition. Download it for free and just give it away for free. Just spread it around everywhere. Because I really don't give a fuck about money when it comes to my band. But that's really unfair to the, my other band members that I'm sure they would like to have some money. So hey, if you want to pay for it, feel free. But uh, if you don't pay for it, you're gonna miss out on that 16-page booklet. Uh, it's really cool, and the, and the CD itself looks like a vinyl. It's a really badass packaging that we have on the Thrasher Die CD. And notice how I shifted it into Thrasher Die. Let's go back into Black Sabbath. 
So what I'm saying out there is that um, I'm not going to buy the fucking CD. And I uh, will review it, just give me about a year. And I have had a lot of people also ask me about, um, not a lot, okay, a few people have asked me about, uh, uh, what the hell is that guy's name from Rage Against the Machine? Is playing drums for Black Sabbath now. Um, I think it sucks. But you know what? I think anybody sucks uh, playing in Black Sabbath if it's not Bill Ward and Ozzy's front of the band. It has to be Geezer, Tony, and Bill. Uh, not Vinny Apiece or, or Bobby Rondinelli or, you know, anybody else that played drums in Black Sabbath. It has to be the original four because it's sacred to me, man. I mean, I know I'm, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because I did pay to see Van Halen without Michael Anthony, and they really fucked him over. And I paid to see Judas Priest with KK Downing, and that that really pisses me off too. But I did pay to see that, which I'm kind of like, uh, it was a good show, but still, it wasn't KK, man. And KK is so important uh, to Judas Priest, in my opinion, that they. Management fucked him over too, man. What's up with management these days? They all suck. Anyway, so uh, that's all I have to say. Um, and everybody out there, you, now you know how I feel. I know there's a few out there. And I also want to say thank you so much, everybody out there that watches my reviews. I love the positive reviews, and, uh, the positive comments I get. And uh, I even like... You know, I don't get many negative ones, though that may change now with the douchebags out there that have seen this review. Hey, let me go fucking spam his shit. Well, there's a ban button on my fucking YouTube, and I'll do it to your ass if you're a fucking troll. Uh, but all I want to say is that uh, I want to thank everybody, and and uh, I also want to thank the, the negative reviews I've gotten. I, I, I wish I would get some constructive negative reviews, because that, well, actually, that would, that would be worse. And I'd be like, fuck, man, damn, man, that sucks, man, you're right, I suck. But the negative shit I get are from fucking morons. And I, I don't even want to give them credit or even talk about it and say, just, it's going to be hard to find because most of them are positive, but there are a few fucking stupid asses out there that I actually like their comments too because I pissed off a fucking dumbass. That's fucking awesome. Anyway. Uh, that's how I feel about the Black Sabbath stuff. 13's coming out, and my prediction, it's going to fucking kick ass. But I'm not buying it. Fuck them fucking managers. Long live Bill Ward. Right here. Right here. See? I am very dedicated. Even though I paid for Judas Priest and Van Halen. Black Sabbath, original Van Halen, uh, but original Black Sabbath is more sacred to me. And it has to be the original four. Or I'm not going to give them a goddamn penny. And Ozzy and Geezer and uh, Tony, even though I know you're not watching this, I'm sorry that you're not getting my money now. But don't worry, man. You've got tons. I, I, I've been buying those 180 gram vinyls of Black Sabbath. And, you know, them I don't mind, you know, getting my money. But they have enough money as it is. So let's, let's, uh, let me fuck over the managers and anybody out there that like is watching this and saying oh man you're an idiot man fuck you with your stupid opinion on bill ward fuck bill ward and this and that well look pick a finger okay fuck it i'll pick one for you all right i don't give a fuck that's your opinion your opinion is your opinion you're not going to change mine i've had people tell me you know how stupid i am with my uh dedication of bill ward about okay fine that's your fucking opinion but your opinion is not going to change mine. I'm as hard-headed as you, asshole. Anyway, that's my uh, rant again about Bill Ward. I think uh, I know I ranted about it like a year ago, and my feeling has not changed. If Bill Ward is not in Black Sabbath, it's not a reunion. Period. Later.